Well, Roberto, you are late again. You can make it up tonight. One hour of detention. Where are you going, Leo? To look for Marcelino. Vacation starts tonight. We should celebrate. The very latest model with self-inflating tires and center pull brakes. Does it go fast? If you Oops. spent less time chatting, your work would improve, Marcelino. <laughs> Tonight, your vacation begins. I'm counting on you to go over everything we've learned in school this semester. All right, it's time, children. You may go now. Not you, Marcelino. You're going to stay with your friend Roberto and straighten this mess out. But are you sure they have some left? Of course I am. They just got them in. Hello, Leo. It's really nice of you to come and meet me, but we're not going back yet. Come along with us. And do they have lots of different colors? You'll see. We're almost there. You see, there are two models for kids here. The standard in blue and the deluxe in red. Boy, I really wish that I could have one. How did you manage to get the money to pay for it? I got a job helping out at the harvest last summer. A job? That's what I need. Don't worry about it. He's got something on his mind. Well, that's still no reason to not even say hello. Brother Ding Dong, do you know if there's a bicycle my size anywhere around the monastery? Well, there used to be one that Brother Bird used when he was young. Uh, go look in the lean-to over there. <laughs> Thanks, Brother Ding Dong. Let's give it a go. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My strawberries! Marcelino! Oh my goodness! Oh. <laughs> These strawberries sure are good, Brother Bird. Yes? I'd like to buy myself a new bicycle. Could you give me some money, please? Money does not grow on trees. But what's that? That... that is the money which pays for everything in the monastery. The food, the clothes, repairs, and upkeep. And for my bike? Marcelino, we must not waste this money. It's hard to earn, and it is the fruit of all our labor. All good work deserves a reward. Huh? Uh, the next time I'd appreciate it if you counted to ten before opening your mouth to speak, brother. Huh? Hello, my friends. Oh, hello to you, Marcelino. 
Believe it or not, we're off to the Duke of Musts. To the Dukes? Why go there? To harvest his grapes. But doesn't he always chase you away? Yes, but this season he needs some help. So, of course, we were anxious to help. Once we found out that he would pay. Courtyard. It was really hard work. Thank you, Marcelino. All good work deserves a reward. Thank you very much. Mm. Mm -hmm. One soup, three cents. One zucchini casserole, five cents. One yogurt, two cents. Bread, water, and silverware, four cents. Total, 14 cents. Amount due immediately. Marcelino, we all help out with the domestic chores and none of us is paid anything for these are tasks which we all share. Brother Pap does the cooking. Brother Bird tends to the garden. Brother Proverb does the accounting and paperwork. Brother Ding Dong rings the bells. And Father Pryor watches over us all. I'm sorry, but now I understand. I'm going to help out, and for free, too. All right, time for bed, my little one. Brother Pap, I've got an idea. I'm going to help with the harvest, and with the money I earn, I'm gonna buy my bicycle. I think you'd better ask Father Pryor about this little idea of yours. Well, let's go right now. But, uh, but... Come in. Excuse me, Father, but uh, since it's vacation time and, and it would pay for my bicycle, the, the grapes are being harvested at the Duke's. All and, right, uh, Marcelino, you can help with the grape harvest. I'm counting on you to work hard and obediently. Your name or your age? Paolo, fourteen years old. Here, you're a great picker. Next, mm, Marcelino. Thirteen years old. Oh, you are pretty small for your age. <laughs> All right. You are a great picker. One, scram. And you, you're the water dog. <laughs> hey, kid, don't go so fast. I won't be able to keep up with you. You're not 13 years old. No, so what? You're not 14 years old either. What was your name again? Paolo. What's yours? Marcelino. Here, this is for you and your whole family. Next. So, how was your first day at work, Marcelino? Not bad. I'm so tired. You go and sleep, oh. Marcelino. I'll clear the table. Oh, good night. Oh, your job went well, Marcelino. Yeah, I guess so, but this much money won't even pay for the handlebars on my bike. Look, I'm telling you that it wasn't me. No, it wasn't me who put the bucket over your head this morning. Well, who was it then? I don't think it was one of the monks.
Lunch break! I can't take this job anymore. It's hard work and badly paid. Yesterday I was really tired, but it's better today. You two! After the break, you come with me to do some work in the cellar. You're going to work on the grapes, and after they've settled, they'll begin to ferment, and then uh, we can distill them. Here we heat up this stuff, the dregs, to the boiling point. The steam rises and then cools into coils, and the alcohol then drips down here into the bottle. Welcome! You know, even in a wine cellar, there are plenty of things to nibble on. You better watch where you put your feet, Spartacus. Huh, a nice vintage, full-bodied. I'll be able to get an excellent price. I'll get paid the equivalent of ten days of work for each bottle. What? Don't touch it. If you want some, you can go get your own. Where at? Hmm. After all, this wine belongs to that scoundrel, the Duke of Must. All right now, boys. Take off your shoes and jump on into the press. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. See that the wine master is still in the cellar. We'll get them tomorrow. What was all that stuff about some bottles? We found some and we're going to sell them. I'm going to be able to buy myself a bicycle. You found? You found? You mean you stole? So what? We're doing like Oro, stealing from the rich. Except that Oro steals from the rich to give to the poor, not to buy himself a bicycle. Thank you, Marcelino. Oh, that's okay. Uh, good night, everybody. But tell me, Paolo, who are we gonna sell the bottles to? Not so loud, you idiot! Don't worry about it. I've got a little plan. It's not time yet. Fine with me. The less I have to work, the better. Six bottles of one of the castle's best vintages have been stolen. I want to know who's responsible. Oh! Oh! It was me. I'll go and get them for you right away.
There are still three missing. Where are they? Who does this bag belong to? Paolo? Say, isn't your name Paolo? I want you out of here, and I don't want to see you back tomorrow. Get out, you'll never work here again. Consider yourself lucky that I haven't called the police. What you have done is inexcusable. I, I should run you off like Paolo. Mm, but you did have the guts to confess, and then Piero put in a good word for you, so uh, I'll give you one last chance. So he find me one day's pay, and starting tomorrow, he's going to keep an eye on me while I'm working. I can see that this horrible experience has taught you a lesson. Well, it's good that you confessed and uh, that you didn't betray Paolo. The humiliation that you suffered in front of everyone is punishment enough. You see, Marcelino, you always have to be vigilant and not let yourself be influenced by others. Especially by people like Paolo. From now on, I'm going to earn my money honestly. Jealous. Jealous of what? Jealous of not getting to go with the boy to the harvest. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stay here tomorrow. Harvesting is not work for dogs to do. I'm going to get that bike. It's too full. We, we won't get the cork in. Perfect, my boy. I, I keep going like that. Yeah. like the others. Oh, no. I work in the cellar now. I fill in the bottles, stick on the labels. Actually, I'm the wine master's assistant. Yes, yes, it's true. But of course, he's the boss. He's teaching me everything. Yes. Yes. It seems as though the wine master has taken an interest in you. But listen, if I don't do it well, he scolds me a lot. And you obey? Absolutely, to the letter. I swear it. Oh, we don't swear, Marcelino. How many times have I told you that? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. That's all right, Marcelino. Keep working hard. Your mistakes are all in the past now. It's not whether we fall, it's whether we get up that counts. Right. Besides, when I stole the bottles, it was because I was under the bad influence of Paolo.
Good morning, sir. Good morning, boy. I is somebody there? Marcelino, Paolo is about to do something stupid. Watch out! Ooh. Oh no, the wine master. You're not hurt too bad, but it would be best to get it checked out at the hospital. Thank you, sir. And I'm sorry. I won't bother you again. It's you we ought to be thanking. That was quick thinking back there. Oh, it was nothing, sir. Well, I better go clean up the mess. Marcelino, I'm very happy for you. Yeah, but I didn't get the best one, the red luxury one. I got the blue one, the normal one. Oh, really? So, I've got some money left over. I want to give it to the monastery fund to help pay for all of us here. Well, we accept this money with pleasure, Marcelino. We all thank you, and I congratulate you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go play outside now? Of course, go out and have a good time. <laughs> 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 